What's cooking folks, Vermillion Phoenix here, and today we're jumping back into some more Orcs Must Die Unchained. This time we're heading into the Confluence with Temper. Now I apologize, uh, some of you may know that I was sick, uh, probably for like the past two weeks, and uh, because of it, I'm still a little under the weather, I'm not perfect yet, um, but I may wind up muting out uh, or just dropping my mic audio a bit to uh, cover up some of the coughing so you guys don't have to deal with it because it does become somewhat unbearable and that's just listening to it let alone actually having to make the coughing but uh yeah we should be able to go through this the confluence isn't a particularly difficult map for melee heroes but the one thing that you need to look out for especially if you're trying to par it is going to be whether or not uh, you allow the enemies in the rear section of the map to uh, path uh, directly towards your rift Which is a little risky or to go around the long way. You don't get a particularly high score if you make them go the long way, but it is very easy To get a five star doing it that way um, It basically doesn't put a lot of pressure on you and you don't really have to worry about it until about halfway through the waves anyway uh, Setting up the left side is pretty easy um, there can be a lot of efficient ways to go ahead and do that uh, with temper though um, I think we are going to focus still on using The swinging maces uh, Swinging maces are actually uh, they have some really nice locations that you can place them on this map so With swinging maces a couple of dragon lances uh, Drop the arrow wall, use, actually no, arrow wall. If you're using swinging maces, arrow walls and uh, spitfires are actually like your best choice for most wall traps. Uh, it actually has some good utility over here too. Uh, it's just that this section you'll have to basically handle personally and not really bad. It just means you won't be able to do uh, the setups that are quite as efficient over here. Um, this back area has like fire elementals and a lot of fast units So you're really gonna want either coverage or contact traps things like brimstone firecracker floor scorcher uh, grinder and uh, Like maybe some explosives To really take those out efficiently at least in my opinion. There's plenty of ways to do it and slows help everything but We got the fire and the smashing deals don't really need killer buzz uh, damage isn't really gonna be too big of a deal here but uh, to make these fire guys in the back may wind up wrecking a couple of barricades. So we do want to try to protect against that. Uh, and guardians for this map, uh, the rum rudder and the deckhand are both very good. The deckhand has a chance of getting you more combos. So that's pretty nice. Uh, the rum rudder will get you extra drops. Um, and in the rear, I think I'll just go with the rum rudder. Um, in the rear, you can toss up something like a weapon right or if you're feeling particularly defensive, the blacksmith, but I think I'm gonna go with the weapon right. Where is, there we go, buddy. All right, and then playing temper, of course, healing and mana regeneration, well, healing items you can still use. Mana regeneration doesn't work, so make sure that you bring something that doesn't actually do that. That way the gear slots aren't wasted and you can actually get some utility out of them. But that's it, go ahead and jump in. But I'll play fair though. All right, here we go. So, ooh, I forgot. Uh, my regular confluence deck uses uh these guys, which isn't really a problem, but means it's gonna wind up costing me a bit more coin than I actually want it to, which isn't really that big a deal. Yep. This will protect our rip. They're trapped, they're trapped, everywhere, trap, trap. Ooh, just out. Okay, um, do we want to do it like this? Yeah, I guess so. Like this here spot. Okay, uh, then. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess you could drop a run rudder right there for now. Uh, we actually should not build these yet. Uh, we will have our guardian there. Let's get everybody on fire and make sure we block this area off. Let the trap do the killing. Why I don't have to. Shiver me timber. And had I actually brought the Great Wall Barricade, I'd have enough for at least, I think, one swinging mace. Or not another swinging mace, but at least uh, more wall traps. Can't everyone just be your timbers, land but this should actually work out for now. The enemy has opened a minion portal. Alas, we not take one to be booty. <laughs> Nobody's putting anything in your booty, Rum Rudder. Ooh. So, it's always a good idea if you have the opportunity to fight over the tar, especially if you have traps that will trigger and deal damage around it. Because that's really where a lot of your combo points are going to consistently come from. Alright. Gonna go for Anger Love's company. Actually, I could, uh... Happy Place too, because the rage is gonna deplete itself no matter what. So you might as well use it. At least until you get a rage machine. No, I didn't bring any BGH traps on in this loadout. And I would actually recommend if you don't fill that any of the uh, that ballista slot that I used for the uh, dragon lance, if you really don't feel that uh, you need the ballista, because there's not too many places where I'm going to use it, uh, feel free to bring a BGH trap. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna happy place away. So for the most part, this is this entire setup for this wall. Doesn't get much better. You don't really need it to for the most part unless you're in something like uh, Endless or Chaos Trials. And this will handle a lot of what comes through here quite easily. Uh, if you're using a Guardian such as the Stable Hand, then you'll find that this is even easier because he happens to slow enemies that are in front of the uh, swing maces. Gonna go ahead and grab Rage Decay. Keep in mind, knockbacks do interrupt enemies. So if you see an enemy starting up an attack that will do a good amount of damage or that you generally just think you might have to worry about, then feel free to just go ahead and uh, chuck a hammer at them. If they don't finish the animation before they get bounced into the air, uh, as long as everything's syncing up well for you at the moment, then ultimately you won't even get hit. Alright, I think I can pretty much just do one of these. And we're going to save the rest of the coin. I have no idea how you hit me, but good job. So, this area is pretty interesting uh, because... That looks like it could hurt somebody. It's pretty tricky to block off. Uh, if you do something like that, then you shouldn't have too many issues, though. Watch out! Our enemies have broken through again. Uh, Watch out for this! I hope no one gets hurt. I'm going to wind up unblocking that uh area back here, 
eventually, uh, just to make sure that the enemies coming from the rear have an opportunity to get through. Uh, too poor for another rum rudder. That'll be fixed pretty much immediately. All right. Drop another rum rudder. Oh, crap. There's still a lot of them coming. You're really not safe here until you uh, get your slow set up. So try not to get too comfortable until then. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We're close to halfway through it now, which is great. Rift is opening. Quick, destroy it. Because we've already built. Our slows over here. We have a little bit more leeway. We also have our guardian to deal a bit of damage to whatever tries to get through. Uh, that guy running around Beck, I believe, has to be a. It should be a, a no, some sort of leaper because I don't believe I knocked anything over there. I could be wrong, but it doesn't look like he's moving too fast. Nope, it's definitely a no. Just wanted to be sure. It's weird that he would... Well, alright, so there's a weird split in this particular lane where a handful of the enemies will try to take this left path. And that Noel would have, I guess, been a part of that. Okay. Hello, buddy. I'm just gonna allow you to come over here where my guardian can hit you. And I didn't even need to waste my slam there. As all of this goes through, ultimately we'll get a chance to start to sell the uh, stuff that's over here, and we need to rush. Now the reason that we needed to sell those immediately there is because we're going to come back here and block this off. We're also going to build us a weapon right. I'll just leave it here. You like this here spot. Gotta keep the rib safe. They're trapped, they're trapped, everywhere trapped, trapped. They've broken through a gate. Now, here you'll more easily be able to see uh, the enemies that sort of split. From that, I guess, the uh, northeastern gate. No, you don't. And once I get a bit more damage uh, built up in the back there, grinders are really good for that. Uh, this will become less of an issue where more and more enemies are getting through. Good thing about this is a uh, well-placed firewall bracers will basically wreck everything here. You basically just let them run across that, kill any of the bigger guys, and the kobolds will just burn up. Now the scary thing is right about here. 
I sold those barricades because... Oh gosh, I hate that whistle. Uh, the scary thing about that rear gate is that eventually they're going to throw a bunch of fire elementals and an Urza at you. Why does the speed boost from Happy Place not seem to be multiplicative with the speed boost from the speed pads? Maybe it's a change of perspective? Oh wow, you can just hammer through the shields when you rage. That's actually pretty amazing. Always imagine Temperate just saying it's hammer time whenever you just toss a hammer at somebody's face. What? Okay. Watch out! An unstable rift is opening. Get to it and destroy it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you get a boost from any of the speed pads while you are using Happy Place. Like, there's no difference. I think that's probably a bug. Because I think there should be a difference. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to make this a little bit harder for these guys to get through here easily. And we definitely don't want them coming through here and not having any issues because we do want to make sure that our guardian buddy is taken care of. All right, and here we go. Now, if you don't have firewall braces here, the lightning ring works almost as well, but you will still have to clean up a couple of... Uh, Oh, well, there we go. We'll have to clean up a couple of stragglers. There's the Urza. Here comes the rest of them. So the Firelink should get attracted to that barricade. They're going to wreck it, but I don't have to deal with them. I was really just there for bait. And now we can put back actual barricades. Once we have the actual cash for him. Just gotta clear my head right quick. It kind of bugs me. I mean, it's a bug, probably, so... That, that wasn't intended to be a pun, it just kind of was. The speed pad thing. Alright, let's go ahead and spin some of this stuff. So, yeah, if I swing it normally... You get nothing. But. When we get all ragey. Just hammer straight through the shields. Now I'm not sure if him going through the shields. While he's raged is intentional or not. Or they just forgot to make that. Like a sort of. Directional or attack or something. That could be deflected. I don't know. I mean, I'm enjoying the fact that you can't really uh, block it. All right, so we got this silly guy to worry about now. And no place to really put anything. This is going to be the last place that enemies are coming from. Now, because I don't have any BGH stuff, uh, the boss is actually gonna get really close to my guardian over here. And that's pretty much the only threat that you run into on the stage with this setup. Again, most of the enemies are just gonna die. Uh, not going to be too tough. I could have put a few more things over here. And again, uh, being a melee hero, uh, I will run into some issues just 
Everybody Moving around the map. Right? I'm not taking more than my share, am I? <laughs> and that should be it. I have no idea what the weapon right was talking about back there. But there we go. Wasn't a particularly fast time. And again, that path really doesn't award you fast times. Uh, there are some ways to get a faster time, but you know, just trying to keep it stress free for everybody, for me specifically. I'm not trying to go all try hard while I'm still sick. Uh, or recovering from being sick because the recovery part's the important part. Um, but the confluence is, yeah, that, that's pretty good clear. Uh, solid, you can do it, various levels, different characters. I like it. Uh, of, co of course, uh, the arrow walls really didn't do much for me. Uh, you could change that to something like wall blades for a much more consistent use of traps. Um, I mean, it will split your coin differently. But uh, depending on exactly how you play that, you could probably bump up your combo level a bit and uh, have some extra coin floating around. But the next map is going to be Frostbite, and this will probably see me make a lot of use of uh, Temper's Happy Place, just to get around. And uh, this is one of the few places where his uh, the additional burn damage that he causes actually is quite useful at clearing out the enemies. So. This will be an interesting place to see, and uh, we'll be doing that another day. Either way, thanks for tuning in. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to say, feel free to leave that uh, in the comment section beneath the video description. And other than that, uh, just thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, as always, have a good one, folks.